It doesn't rain in Southern California. There's a great song about it. But oh man, when it does, you better hold on to your hat. SoCal has this weird little geographical thing. We're on the ocean and not that far from that, mountains pop up. What happens? Clouds roll inland from the ocean. They get forced high into the atmosphere by those mountains and then drop all of their moisture onto the San Gabriel Mountains. Basically, a little over 10 miles away from downtown LA, some of the most concentrated rainfall in the recorded history of the United States has happened. In 1969, over nine days, those mountains got more rain than NYC sees in an entire year. And that brings us to these. All around SoCal, there's what appears to be giant empty dams. Most are used as like recreation areas. What they actually are, are retention bases if one of those storms happen. They're not to stop the water, they're just to slow it down and funnel it so the flooding doesn't take out entire neighborhoods. And this is where this gets bad. There's historical and geological evidence that every 100 to 150 years, there's a weather phenomenon called an arc storm. An arc storm is basically where it rains for 40 days straight with category three hurricane winds. And it's going to happen again. They predict that this next storm could cost the lives of 400,000 Californians. They also predict it can do $1 trillion in damage. That's four times the amount of damage predicted by the big one earthquake that people are way more afraid of. And an arc storm already happened once. The 1861 arc storm killed over 4,000 people. And yes, if you can math, we're due for one. Congress this year even approved money to fix the Whittier Narrows Dam because engineers assessed that if an arc storm happened today, the dam would fail and flood 1 million people. So there's that. And there's also earthquakes here, the hottest weather on earth, the deepest snow packed on earth, wildfires, drought, and mudslides. But hey, we got the beach, so it's worth it.